good. My name is Jana Keinersdorfer. I am uh, an associate professor in biomedical engineering at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We're trying to build devices such as a smartwatch or a Fitbit for marine mammals. So what we're trying to do is use LEDs and light sources to measure oxygenation of tissue and hopefully monitor dolphin health, try to understand diving physiology better, try to understand what happens to tissue and the brain when an animal goes diving. So to really understand how light travels through the different tissues of the dolphin, the dolphins need to hold still for a few seconds to minutes. We place probes on the skin and shine light right through the skin, the blubber, the muscle tissue. And we can measure how likely it is that this light gets absorbed or how likely it is the light scatters through the tissue. And we use these properties in the next step in a computational model to understand which properties we need to change. Uh, those include which color or wavelengths of light we want to use, how much light we want to put in um, to the tissue that we can then later uh, receive in our detectors. That means we will have the instrumentation to really monitor if an animal is getting enough oxygen, if somehow uh, tissue perfusion is reduced, so we're trying to really find a means to monitor dolphin health in general. The hope is that we can take some of the things we're learning with the animals back to a clinical setting for treatment optimization, for instance, of COVID patients. I've gotten to observe the relationship between animals and trainers at Dolphin Quest and I think it's the most respectful interaction that I have seen between humans and animals. The trust between trainers and animals is enormous. The benefit of that is that we really can come in and perform research that otherwise would not be possible.